Hello everyone, it's Phil Jones from Projector Reviews and I am at CES 2024. And we'd like to come and talk about the new technologies that are being showed at the show. There's a lot of big um, LEDs and flat panel TVs here, but there's still applications where projection is a better or more viable solution. And one of the companies that's been promoting that is Appletronics, the maker of ALPD um, light sources, which you see in a lot of the projectors that we review. And joining me is, is Dr. Han. So thank you for coming and talking to me. Actually, thank you for letting me come and talk to you. Yes, thank you, thank you. So first, let's talk about the company. Can you give me a little background about Appletronics? Yeah, Appletronics is uh, with a Chinese company we are founded in Shenzhen. So Shenzhen, we call it the Silicon Valley mm -hmm. of China. Mm -hmm. uh, so we start with uh, 2006, we are inventor of mm -hmm. the ALPD. So what's, what's unique for ALPD, we start with high power blue laser. Mm -hmm. That is the most robust, efficient, yeah, semiconductor laser. Then we use laser phosphor mm -hmm. to convert into RGB color. Uh, we start from like consumer electronics. Yeah, we make uh, the first laser television. Mm -hmm. Yeah, together with our partner, we become very successful not only in the in the home use but also in the like uh, in the cinema. Photonic is a uh, is market leader, mm -hmm. especially for the cinema. Yeah, there in China the like laser project they become mm -hmm. mainstream mm -hmm. if you go to cinema. Um, but we want to take the additional challenge. Mm -hmm. we are, even we are very successful in uh, consumer electronics, mm -hmm. but we want to, you know, to change ourselves. Mm -hmm. But once we move to automotive, we have a lot of constraints. The yeah, first one is a harsh environment. Mm -hmm. it's, it's tough, mm -hmm. shock, vibration, mm -hmm. like high low temperature. Mm -hmm. yeah, we think we need to very robust technology. Mm -hmm. that, that's the first challenge. The APD, they have an intrinsic advantage. Mm -hmm. It's very robust. Mm -hmm. yeah. It's simple. But we start with blue laser. Mm -hmm. yeah. We can survive all this high low temperature shock vibration. Mm -hmm. uh, the second challenge is the flexibility. You are in the automotive the space is so tight. Yeah. We have to be very careful to use every like cubic inch mm -hmm. of the space. So any like LCD, uh, like OLED, mm -hmm. is not flexible. You know, this is a display device. Once it's uh, after installation, it's there. Mm -hmm. yeah, we can't change it anymore. But projector is, uh, is flexible. Yeah, we separate the screen mm -hmm. from the like, light engine. We see with uh, this already launched to the market, mm -hmm. we can have this 32 inch it's a big screen, mm -hmm. like project screen. It's electrically rollable. Push a button mm -hmm. with a mobile phone, mm -hmm. so it's disappear. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that is a huge advantage for project. You'll see their ALPD light source in of a wide variety of projectors, and they continue to add and add advancement. So now there's ALPD one, and it was two, three. Now yeah. we're saying five, which we'll talk about in a different video. But this room, as you mentioned, is, is dedicated to showing that there's more um, uses for projection far beyond you know, how you would think about it using it for consumer electronics. So why don't you give us a quick tour? Yeah, okay. Um, so Philip, so you see, uh, I just want to show what is uh, inside for the laser projector. We, always, we tell about laser projector. It must be a laser inside. Um, here we show, um, this is a high power blue laser mm -hmm. with 450 nanometer. You, that we see the blue color. Mm -hmm. yeah. So why we use laser? Yeah, we know laser is a, is a light source with the highest intensity. So we can couple the blue laser into a optical fiber. Mm -hmm. The fiber is, uh, is well known for, like, for telecommunication. We can transport energy through the fiber with uh, pretty low loss. Yeah. From this side, we see uh, yeah, we are familiar with this 
white, cool white color. This is for automotive, but in principle, it's very similar to like for any projector. Yeah, we need to see white light. So what inside is a phosphor. It's a special laser phosphor. Uh, it can convert blue light mm -hmm. into white. Mm -hmm. yeah. Because for automotive, there is regulation. Yeah, only white light is a lot. Uh, for the front lighting. Mm -hmm. So this would be like for, no. you can use this for headlights? For headlights, okay. for headlight. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So that is the whole, like the physics be behind. Mm -hmm. So we focus on automotive. Yeah, in this room, uh, yeah, we, we coming from consumer electronics, mm -hmm. but we are now, we are trying to uh, take another challenge. Mm -hmm. The automotive is, uh, is an interesting market. It's, Challenge, but it's not just like for functionality, it's also for like for safety. Yeah, we can make all different. Yeah, we just start with a simple case. Mm -hmm. Yeah, for automotive lighting, this is the most basic functionality. Mm -hmm. So you we drive the car, we start with low beam. So mm -hmm. this is the ECE type low beam. Mm -hmm. We see very typical like cut off line, mm -hmm. above the cut off line we should try to reduce the light to mm -hmm. avoid glare, glare to the oncoming mm -hmm. traffic. So below the cutoff line, we need a pretty high like illuminance. Mm -hmm. So we need to good beam range on the road. Mm -hmm. uh, in the previous design, it looked quite bulky. Mm -hmm. There we use uh, like LED, mm -hmm. um, but with laser, um, technology, we can shrink the size. Mm -hmm. But this only like less than inch. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's so tiny. Uh, yeah, this, this is high beam. The mm -hmm. only low beam is not sufficient. Mm -hmm. If you're driving in the highway, mm -hmm. we go to high speed, uh, we need like more than 200 meter beam range. In this case, uh, we need the high beam. So that typical, they look at, look at this. So if we drive in the city, Mm -hmm. We only switch on low beam. If we go to highway, uh, we have to switch on the the high beam. Yeah, just to improve the driving safety. Yeah, that's give a lot of design freedom for the automotive, like OEMs. But it's so tiny, so we can imagine uh, for all the designer for the mm -hmm. automotive they really love it yeah. <laughs> longer life more compact better design brighter yeah um, the list goes on and on yeah that's what we try to um normally it's always some like conflict between the static design also the functionality but the laser i think that is one of the key technology so we can fulfill both requirements so we were just talking about the utilizing um, Applatronics laser technology and headlights. Yes, exactly. Now, now, what are we what are we talking about here? Yeah, yeah here is that's for visual entertainment. This is a product we just launched the market in 26 of December last mm -hmm. year, just mm -hmm. during Christmas. The car model is uh, it's one of the the Huawei car. The is called Eto. M9, okay. yeah, it's a very nice full-size SUV, but full electric EV. Mm -hmm. But this is a three-row full-size SUV. It's a strong demand for the second row, also for the third row passenger. Uh, the conventional approach, we put like a, a screen on the screen. LCD panel, mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. But that is a uh, lot of limitation, yeah, because that means everybody has their own screen. Mm -hmm. Uh, also, it's very close to the eye. It has limitation in the screen size. Mm -hmm. So that's not this, but also it's rigid. Yeah, it's not flexible. It occupies quite some space, also like power consumption. So that's we work together with uh, with our customer. So we come to the this idea. Why not put a projector mm -hmm. into the car? So I, it's I a, like that. Yeah, it is 32 inch, mm -hmm. so that's a decent size. Mm -hmm. Not yeah. too big, mm -hmm. not too small. From a passenger viewing distance, if you look at the field of view of that, that's going to look very, very big. Exactly. Um, in, in a, in a exactly. vehicle. Exactly. We can take a close look. Okay. So, what I'm trying to do is not just a projector. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 
is also the screen. But that's a, that is two core components for the, uh, for the pro projection display. It's not just make a very nice light engine, but how to make a high quality, also mm -hmm. extremely robust mm -hmm. screen. That's mm -hmm. an essential part. Okay. Yeah. Is this motorized? Of course. A direct emitting display like a, like a, like a OLED or an LCD, um, there you don't have to worry about like maybe ambient light, but it's like you said, it's rigid. So if I put that screen in the back, yeah. the, the driver all the time can't see behind him because exactly. it's permanently blocking, yeah. blocking behind him versus being able to drop it when you want it and raise it when exactly. you don't. Exactly, exactly. Because there is always is some like a luxury car model already. This a giant, mm -hmm. it's huge LCD, mm -hmm. like a display panel. Mm -hmm. It's like affordable, mm -hmm. but it's still it's uh, yeah, yeah. it's so complex. Yeah. So this one is a uh, is rollable. So if we don't need. So you just push the button, but everything can, can be controlled with, mm -hmm. uh, with a mobile phone. Yeah, so it's go up, the, but this part is right, it's hiding in the, in the sunroof. In the, up in the sunroof. Yeah, if you don't use, you use it, it's just like, uh, it's gone. <laughs> <laughs> it occupies zero space. If you want to see, it's one click, it's going down. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, if, if you take from side, it's, uh, it's that's different between mm -hmm. automotive mm -hmm. also consumer electronics. Mm -hmm. There mm -hmm. is consumer electronics mm -hmm. is simple. Just put a screen, mm -hmm. we attach the wall, mm -hmm. that's it. But this one we have to pass all these qualification tests. Mm -hmm. For automotive. Very strong vibration, mm -hmm. shock, mm -hmm. like a, uh, the high low temperature thermal cycle. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And I see that it has like almost like a scissor arm in it to keep it nice and taut. And keep yes. it from vibrating. So exactly. it has like the X chip. Like X chip. Yeah. So this is already utilized in a car, um, cars in China, yeah. right? Yeah. Car is pretty expensive. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but people simply love it. We do a lot of reviews of of projectors that utilize ALPD light sources. Yeah. And one thing about them is they um, they're very compact, they're very bright, and they're very efficient. So all of that I can see being absolutely beneficial in an automotive application. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. What are we next step? Okay, what's yeah. the next? Yeah, what's the next step? Yeah, we start from like this is interior, mm -hmm. but we are ambitious. We want to bring the projector not only for the passenger but also for the driver. Mm -hmm. Yeah, what is projector is uh, outside of the car. So we can call it uh, we call it private cinema. Okay, okay. So like if they like if say I, I took my vehicle. Um, to camping or exactly. or something like exactly. or something like that, but now it really has to be weather resistant and rugged HMA, because because yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's bad enough being inside the car with temperature changes, but now you have outside you got rocks and snow and moisture everything and everything, everything yeah everything yeah so. that's way we step by step mm -hmm. yeah for consumer electronics everything is so, so nice uh -huh. <laughs> with uh, air conditioning mm -hmm. we go to interior, you mm -hmm. already go to 85C, mm -hmm. but still it's, uh, it's clean. It's clean. Yeah. But now it's not just like high temperature, low temperature, <laughs> so it's, uh, it's nasty Dirt, environment. Dust, yeah. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Well, that's one of the benefits of combining um, a good light source with DLP is you can make a sealed optical system. So yes. that makes it yes. so it makes it a lot more dust and and um, what moisture resistant just from the overall from that um, the overall how that design is actually exactly done. exactly but this is purely based on mm -hmm. yeah you see your you come from the package mm -hmm. that's it's very strong mm -hmm. aluminum block mm -hmm. yeah so actually what we're working right now is not just like uh, these are just one of the functionality. Mm -hmm. yeah, it's like for camping, mm -hmm. we can have fun with our family, with our friends. Mm -hmm. Also even when, when the car is parking mm -hmm. in the garage, mm -hmm. yeah, it's also it's a nice experience. Why? Yes. Because mm -hmm. in the car we have a very profound mm -hmm. advanced, like mm -hmm. audio system. Yeah. That's actually it's better than, than any television. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> oh yeah. yeah. I, I think that's really. I think that's really neat. Outdoor entertainment is getting really is getting really really popular, yeah. and people want to be able to take their entertainment on the go. Yeah. Having it integrated would would be really would be really cool. So this would be like probably in the in the on the in the grill or in the in the back. Where, where would you normally in the front? In the front, in the front. right? Front. Okay. Yeah. So so right between like the headlights. <laughs> so you may end up with the you may end up with the doing the lights and the projection. So it'll be so it'll be 
through two different ways that, that yeah, you're... That we, we redefine the headlight. Mm -hmm. You can call it the third headlight. Okay, it's so like a third headlight. You have left, right, mm -hmm. but you can put the right in the middle. That's, that's, that's cool. Yeah, we, we talk with some, like, some very interesting... Because not only we talk with our customer, mm -hmm. uh, it's not just like we have good confidence in our technology, but it's just uh, one part of the story. Mm -hmm. We have listened very carefully. Mm -hmm what of customers they want. Mm -hmm. some, some of them they said, yeah, that's amazing, I like it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but also we're going back to the, we're not ignoring uh, the safety, because mm -hmm. this is a, a, just remind that mm -hmm. we have quite some country regarding mm -hmm. regulation. Mm -hmm. Yeah, when car is driving, we cannot you project this. this on the road. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But there, there's other ways, there's other ways that can, I've seen projection used. So for example, heads up displays, those are becoming those are kind of nice too, because it, it's funny. I have a Tesla, and there is no dashboard anymore. It's just this little. It's just a pad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, but <laughs> the problem with driving with a Tesla is the the, sp the speed and all the information is way over here, not in directly in front of you. So so things like heads up displays and things like that. Uh, the yeah. more data that I can project in front of me while I drive makes it a, a safer experience, and that's another thing that projection is more suited for. There's more and more of that on windshield data yeah. and information display. Yeah, that's a, that's a point. So, so, ah, so we were just talking about the on-screen. Hey, take a look. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you try to find the right. Ah, I like that. Books. Yeah, I like that. So for example, you could have, while you're driving, you can have all of your speed, navigation, turn left, turn right, all of that stuff here. And then when, like when I'm charging my Tesla, instead of looking down at that little screen, I could project a nice, the movie or the TV show or whatever while I'm yeah, charging my yeah. electric car onto the, uh, onto the display. This, this not just for head up display. In principle, is a television. Because it's, if you look at field of view, mm -hmm. it's, it's big. It's big. Yeah, we got a 10 meter, so mm -hmm. it's equivalent. Mm -hmm to a hundred inch mm -hmm. television. Okay, so it seems so it seems nice and big, which makes it which I which I like as well. Yeah. Okay. That's really cool. Yeah, that's the that's the final result. So it's a pretty large field of view. Yeah, that is what what we are working uh, right now, pretty intensive. Because you are driving Tesla. Mm -hmm. So Tesla is a is a nice design, but you see the problem is mm -hmm. the everything information is in over the, over here. Yeah. <laughs> I have not seen some kind of like a distraction, you know. Yeah, it is a yeah. distraction. <laughs> this is real. Yeah. <laughs> some people really complain because we should stay our eye right um, yeah. on the center of the road. Yeah, it's okay yeah. to have all your controls over here and maybe yeah. set your air conditioning and, and things like that. But where you're going, your navigation, because every time you have to turn to, to see what street you're going to go on, Exactly. The, uh, you're not exactly. looking at the road, so yeah. being able to be able to stay focused on the road is is a safety thing safety. as well. Yeah. So, Dr. Han, thank you for for letting me come um, and and check out some of these exciting new technologies that will be um, arriving in vehicles around the world in a, very soon. Thank you. So we uh, actually we start with the you know with from China, mm -hmm. yeah, uh, but we think the the end user user case so are pretty much similar. Mm -hmm. It's not that matter it's in China or in Europe or in the States. People, regardless of where you live, have the same desires for, for um, entertainment, for safety, for convenience. It doesn't exactly. matter um, exactly. what country you're from. So if it yeah. appeals um, in one region, most likely it's going to appeal to everybody, exactly. everybody globally. Yeah. So, so uh, thank you guys for, for listening and, and, and hanging out with myself and Dr. Hong, Han, and I think that you will be excited to see some of the exciting new products and technologies coming from Applatronics. So take care, and we will talk to you soon.